to artificial intelligence to raise public awareness about IE and create a platform for IE innovation. The meeting presents a valuable <coughs> opportunity to convene uh, our country's best IE experts with the distinguished experts and re representatives of the OECD Secretariat. Concluding my remarks, I wish each of you a highly productive and successful meeting. I strongly believe that our discussion Nowadays, it is hard to have a strong economy without AI. In Turkey, AI ecosystem is improving day by day. Firstly, AI is going to affect all sectors, economy, agriculture, foreign affairs, climate change, energy and education. Secondly, AI will make 85 million people unemployed. However, AI will also create 97 million new jobs. He joined the OECD in 2023 with 30 years of experience in developing, implementing policies for innovation, scientific data, and information tech in the States. Uh, and he was um, chair of the OECD Working Party on Innovation and Tech Policy. Again, welcome to societies. He was the public, service, uh, public sector and investment director at Microsoft's in Turkey previously between 2018 and 2020. Next in line we have uh, Chef Demezdemir, Professor Chef Demezdemir. Uh, she currently holds the position of head of... Why we are here today? Because OECD is important to create the policy side, to create the reach, to uh, maybe help the regulations to the governments and the policy experts like uh, you. And uh, because of this, we are here and these topics and these meetings is important for us. Let me, I see and wet sectors are growing. And the, actually, not uh, maybe component and actions and the comments, uh, most of Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'll have a question with a machine at senior level. The answer is nine months. If the students go to do computer engineering program, programs anymore, we will have unemployment rate during the era, around the world. First of all, thank you, Mr. Ambassador, for your great uh, hospitality. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Shavon, on the IPA president. Uh, I'm honored to speak at this audience. Uh, actually, we utilize AI and big data to forecast the cotton prices. We established a new company, it's uh, called Codecast AI. Uh, which we are uh, forecasting the cotton prices for the next five trading days. Uh, actually, I want to talk about the importance of the cotton. Uh, global markets close the uh, fall of the uh, agriculture commodity prices, which one, uh, the cotton is the most important. So that's why, for the final point, I would like to introduce his works uh, very short. Um, one of the most known uh, scientists uh, in Turkey uh, and he was one of the first uh, scientists who be, uh, who's some kind of a pioneer memories the souvenir it uh, of opportunities but potential uh, risk also might be covered by professionals like us building more and more and expanding its capabilities day by day thanks to these advancements now AI provides us some new opportunities to tackle with some complex problems from different sectors uh, that cannot be solved by human intelligence before uh, I think it's safe to say that uh, AI has some certain level of impact for various sectors from uh, telecommunication to transportation from
begin with, I would try with actually uh, to answer one important question: What does communication research tell us from uh, about uh, AI and uh, interaction with human? Um, so, Who's his or her job? If we apply an AI solution in that position, the, the first and the very first reflex, the label workforce, of course, thinking about the automation. We believe the millions of people are going to lose their jobs, but it's not just that. So you can apply all the generative AI companies in the world, those set of rules, but there will be still some place left that our society is going to have a very bad impact from them. So then, to the electrification, to the steam engine, you name it, even the computer, uh, when it was introduced, basic observation is that, that this is not the first time, right? So our, we as human beings have gone through a number of uh, deep, profound technological shocks. And I think one thing that characterizes uh, we as humans is actually the adaptability, because we have indeed adapted to this uh, major transformation. I have a, a small souvenir to participate with you. Uh, 